lecture i'm going to discuss about how to install powershell tool for visual studio 2022 so here in google search box writing powershell tool for visual studio 2022 so you need to go on this visual studio site there and you need to download this one okay so here you can get this and this number of download that has been done or sixth second option is here open the visual studio 2022 any version then go on this extension manage extension and this place you need to search here power cell power cell you need to search then you can get your power cell tool for visual studio and uh, if and uh, here this number of download that has been done so you need to click on this download okay and this here it's so uh, downloading visual studio so this is your trial free trial is there you can try so you changed to will be scheduled this modification and uh, let's click on this close so close this one and this is now bsix installer initializing so here you can see or do you want to allow to take So VSIX installer is now installed, and here you can see power cell. And this all, let's click on this modify. So this is now modifying Visual Studio 2022. PowerShell tool Visual Studio 2022 modification complete. Click on this close and open the Visual Studio 2022 and create a new project. So this place, so here you can see PowerShell, PowerShell that's come there. Okay, if you want, then here you can search. So that here only open the PowerShell. powershell script powershell windows form project powershell module so script selecting the script next that's fine and here you can see a new version or new version powershell tool find click okay leave this this is here now they after you can try it so first here writing trying to print the hello world so write host and insert there writing hello world hello world and control s to save so power cell ps1 that saved after that click on this run so hello world it's a press play okay after that this place you can write any kind of powershell codes this place is so this is how we can install powershell tool for our visual studio so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you